Let's talk about the discretization error here. Uh, look in my script, but I also want to write that on paper in a very short version. If you have a function r to r, it can also be a function of two variables or more than one, but let's keep things simple. And if the solution depends on the whole function, not only on some points, but on the whole function, then it will be impossible to have an always correct solution. So we will almost always have an error and that comes from the discretization. To better understand that, let's talk about two very short examples. This is an initial value problem. And what do we have? We have for t is zero, we have the starting point one, and then the slope comes from here. It's cosine one minus zero, what is 0 0.6, something like that. So the solution starts in that direction. And then after, for example, 0 0.01 span of time, then we will have a point here. And how can we find this solution point? We can't find the exact solution here in this example. So we will evaluate in between here at some specific points, depending on some numerical idea. In this case, it's the runge kutta method. And then having the slopes here at these points, then we can estimate the average slope and then we can find that point. And in the end, what will be the solution be like? It will be of the form. It will be a set of points, discrete points, discrete values here. And this will be the answer. And this answer can't be correct because there is a discretization error. This comes from the discretization here, but or better said, it comes from the discretization here. We can evaluate the function f at some specific points, but not on the whole part here. And so there will be an error. Let's talk about the second example. We have this integration problem. We integrate x times e to the sine x, and we have a definite integral from zero to one. What is the answer? There is no chance of finding an antiderivative here. And so we need a numerical solver. And in this case, the answer will be 0 0.929 and some digits following. And how is this answer produced? So we can evaluate this function. Uh, it's zero at point zero. And at one, it's one times e to the sine one. It's also some value and the function looks like that. And that's the nature we find this answer. We evaluate this function at some discrete points, say here, and then we construct the solution out of this information, but without the information, what are the values in between here? And so almost sure we will have a discretization error. Maybe there is a very little chance that the solution we calculate is completely correct, but almost always there will be an error. And this comes from the fact that we can't evaluate here on the whole interval, but only on some discrete points. And that's the reason for the discretization error.